sido una partida intensa hoy. Y Adrovsky está pensando, está pensando. Veamos qué va a ser. Moverá la reina, moverá el caballo. ¡Qué tensión! ¡Viene! ¡Viene, viene, viene! Well, 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 well. Operation Michael Olise is over before even it started. Exclusive from David Austin, Chelsea withdrew from the race to sign Crystal Palace winger Michael Olise. Chelsea held talks with uh, Crystal Palace and the 22 years old, but felt finance, finances involved beyond reached. Instead, planned to, to reward existing players and new recruits, you know, expected to add two attackers. All right, so basically, too expensive. Olise is asking too much money. Crystal Palace asking too much money. A lot of agent fee. Just so complicated operation. So it's all about money at the end. And they decided to withdraw from the deal and focus now on getting two good attackers instead of getting all the money on one player, Michael Olise. I don't know how I feel about it because we've been sold for the last few days. Operation Olise, Chelsea are obsessed with Olise. Uh, money is not the problem. So Fabrizio Romano told us... Save the name. Remember the name. Chelsea are confident on the Olise deal. Chelsea are confident because the discussions in the recent days have been positive and encouraging for Chelsea. But Chelsea are really pushing it. Chelsea consider Olise their obsession. Chelsea consider Olise their priority target for this summer. Palace also know that Chelsea in this moment are the favorites in the race for Michael Olise. And that Chelsea want to go really big on Olise this summer after. Chelsea in the operation Olise believe that agreeing on personal terms is the crucial step in this story. Chelsea and are prepared to pay the value of the clause to Crystal Palace. Chelsea would be happy to go there and put the money on the table when it's about the close. So Chelsea are really convinced about that. Save the name. Remember the name. Well, that's what Fabrizio Romano sold us a few days ago. Save the name. Remember the name. Chelsea are obsessed with Michael Olise. Chelsea are confident to beat Bayern Munich to get Olise. Uh, Crystal Palace know that Chelsea are favorite. Chelsea priority is Michael Olise. Chelsea pushing hard and really ready to pay the release close. So they sold us all kind of dreams. It looks like almost a here we go. Fabrizio Roman was sure. Other sources were very sure. And today we got smash in the face. I don't know how I feel about this one. Like I said... It's, it depends on the individual, though, you know? Depend. what are we going to do from now on. Chelsea fans are not happy because under Roman Abramovich, something like this was never going to happen. According to them, according to what I'm reading on social media, mixed emotion from me, to be honest with you. I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket and think... Only that guy is the solution for Chelsea Football Club. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Who's next? Somerville. Yeah, bring me Somerville. I'll be fine. Somerville from the left-hand side, though. But Modric need to go. And Sterling need to go if you want to bring somebody like uh, Somerville. Lord have mercy. I will be just all over the place reading comments from people. <clears throat> You see here a uh, scout or this, the secret scout say that's far too complicated with all the percentage that was going to, to him and the club. Olise signing new contract again, as was the case last season, made it difficult for Chelsea. Chelsea, okay, all right. 
What the heck say this guy here? Bayern is calling. Wow, what? David Austin dropped an exclusive bomber. Then disappear. Next time he shows up, it will be another exclusive bomber. Yeah. The, the guy deserves a lot of respect, David Austin. He's not like a social media guy. Every three minutes you have to, to, to tweet something. But he comes up with precision, exclusive, and then disappear. If he was online the same way as Fabrizio Romano, he was going to be the biggest name. But social media is about now, 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 now. Every single minute you have to do something. That's why Austin is not known that much as Fabrizio Romano. Uh, this guy here said that it was never worth this, the whole saga. I don't know, man. People got opinions and you have just to respect their opinions. So another exclusive from... David Austin said that Michael Olise has chosen to join Bayern Munich. Uh, and Bayern Munich among th three clubs, Chelsea, Newcastle, to contact Crystal Palace last week and now expected to agree deals with uh, Crystal Palace, blah, blah, blah. So basically, the only winner here is Bayern Munich, but not because... They beat Chelsea, but because Chelsea didn't want to meet uh, the money asked by Michael Olise's camp agent. And it's so complicated if you read the details on The Athletic. We don't have time to make a 10, 10 hour video here. But when all this is gone and you use a little bit of common sense, you see where Chelsea are coming from you know Raheem Sterling is on 350k Romelu Lukaku on 350k and I heard that Michael Olise was demanding to be the highest or the highest paid in the club so let's say we're talking about 300k a week here plus commissions plus bonuses plus this and that and you can understand in a certain way you know what I mean it is what it is. Going to Bayern Munich, this guy here said that enjoy farming. What? That means Vincent Company is going to win the league. Beat Xavi Alonso Leverkusen to win the league. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. What are we doing, man? I don't know. I'm still all over the place. Nizer Kinsella. Chelsea have pulled out out of the race to sign Michael Olise. The total operation fee, wage, agent fee, deemed too expensive, focus will switch to other targets. So don't be surprised. Tonight, tomorrow, we are linked with uh, 40,000 other wonder kids from Brazil and Monaco. <laughs> All right? We're going to sign now every wonder kid around the world. And um, other clubs also know that Chelsea are looking for somebody. So don't expect us to get them cheap. The price is going to be very high. Yeah, we will get uh, Nico Williams. Nico Williams also is demanding like 200k a week, something like that. He's going to cost around 50 million release clothes. And they are not the same player as Michael Olise. People are so angry. Especially people like Pius and people like uh, Simon, Simon Phillips. Oh my Lord. Just don't go to their, their pages right now because they are so angry. They are insulting everybody. They are punching everything around them. But calm up, calm up, my brothers. Calm down, calm down. This is not the end of the world. We are Chelsea Football Club. We still have Noni Madweke who can cook. Now he's going to be even more determined to do it and prove people wrong. We have Cole Palmer who is there. We have Christopher Nkunku. We have Angelo Gabriel. We have um, 
So many, so many good players that we can use, my friends. Calm down. Calm down. Somerville. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Lord and Savior, what is going on? <clears throat> we are all over the place, people. This guy here, CFC Chris, say that 50 million on unknown nobody striker is fine but won't pay Olisi, who is a genuine uh, roof raiser and game changer. Clowns like strikes again. Michael Olise also been injury prone though. A lot of injuries. There is no guarantee that you're going to have uh, 20 games out of him a season. And I think he's referring to Omoro Dion and also Duran. I'm proven for 50 million, but they're not going to demand the same kind of wage that Olise and the agent fee. And the whole structure is completely different. But I understand the frustration from people and I don't really uh, I don't really feel the same way other people are feeling. Lord, so Olise is trending. Give Noni Madweke a chance to prove people what he can do. I'm okay with Noni. Uh, transfer news live say Michael Olise wanted to to be the highest play the highest paid player at Chelsea. However, the club are trying to cut down wage bill and felt it was out of their range. Yeah, after the sentiment, after emotions, if you look at it from the other side of the coin, you will understand that. Chelsea can't afford to pay another guy 300k. And the same people don't want to pay 100k to Conor Gallagher. So there is a lot of hypocrisy here when it comes to signings at Chelsea Football Club. You know, popular opinions is not necessarily right, right? So I don't know. ESPN UK, Michael Olise had the most GA by any player with fewer than 15 starts in the Premier League season 2023-2024. 19 games, 14 start, 10 goals, 6 assists. To be honest, he's a, a real bowler. You know, I wanted him at Chelsea Football Club, but it's not the end of the world. Hmm. All right, man. It is what it is. Leave your comment. This this was just my reaction about everything that's going on in the Chelsea community. <laughs>